Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode number 38. Welcome to Monday Night Raw as the road to Seattle, Washington. And our next Universe Mode pay-per-view extreme rules continues. We are live tonight from the Pachanga Arena in San Diego, California. On a night that will feature Austin Theory taking on Mustafa Ali in the main event, we are set to kick things off with a little bit of singles action, wasting no time this evening. Here comes the Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins. In action for the first time since his loss to Mustafa Ali. Inside that steel cage at SummerSlam, the visionary of the WWE makes his return to the ring tonight and is going to be looking to bounce back in a huge way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Murphy from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth The last couple of months have been rocky for Seth Rollins. It all led to that matchup as we mentioned at SummerSlam where he took on Mustafa Ali inside the steel cage and unfortunately for Seth Rollins, his bad streak against Mustafa Ali continued on that night, taking another loss to that man inside the cage. Rollins took a few weeks off to heal from the injuries from the cage match, but he is back tonight. Looking to close out the past and find new futures is the Messiah of the WWE, Seth Freaking Rollins kicking us off on Monday Night Raw tonight, which should be an extraordinary one on one contest. The Disciple Murphy always by Seth Rollins' side here tonight. And, ladies and gentlemen, as we mentioned, coming up in our main event here tonight, live from San Diego, California, two men that will compete in the WWE Championship match at Extreme Rules. The road to that event continues as Mustafa Ali goes one on one with Austin Theory. Both these men have got momentum coming into this matchup. What's going to give? We see these two go one-on-one -on -one later tonight. But here comes Seth Rollins' opponent to kick us off here from San Diego, Shinsuke Nakamura. One-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins. This is going to be an extraordinary contest inside that squared circle. Better strap in, folks. This is going to be a great night of action. And his opponent... Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! It's been a little while since we've seen Nakamura inside of the ring, but he's back here tonight with an opportunity to continue down the road that Mustafa Ali's been riding on the last number of months. And that's putting Seth Rollins in his so-called place leading him to the loser side of the contest. Will Nakamura have that same luck tonight, or will Seth Rollins be able to bounce back after the last few months and get back in the winning ways? Nakamura and Rollins kicking us off. And as we mentioned, still to come, Austin Theory one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali in the main event. Both those men gonna be riding momentum as of late. It was last week on Raw, but all day Austin Theory picked up the victory over the Viper Randy Orton after the attack, or I shouldn't say the return, of Riddle, and it was revealed that Randy Orton was the one that put Riddle on the shelf a number of months ago, and then of course the return of Riddle after the contest. Seeing Riddle attack Randy Orton, a lot of writing on there that we're going to touch on later tonight. And of course, Mustafa Ali beat Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, picked up a victory recently on Raw as well, and both of those men going to be competing in that five-man elimination challenge coming up at, a, at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. The WWE Championship that also feature AJ Styles, John Cena, and of course the WWE Champion Edge. Let's get to the action inside the ring right now as Rollins sends Nakamura to the outside of the ring here tonight in San Diego. And Rollins with a crossbody to the outside, crushing down on the knee of Shinsuke Nakamura. Unorthodox offense from Seth Rollins, but again, Rollins is looking to rid himself of the last few months of failure. Gonna be throwing caution into, win, into the win tonight. Anything to get his hand raised. 
Live from the Pachanga Arena here in San Diego, California, tonight as the road to Extreme Rules continues. As for Nakamura, this is a former Intercontinental Champion who ever since he lost that championship a couple of months ago at the Backlash pay-per-view, he seemingly hasn't really been able to get back in the winning ways and have momentum by his side. We haven't seen him much inside the squared circle, but unfortunately for him, the several times we have seen him, he has not been on the winning ways. So for Nakamura, it's about getting back in the win column tonight and really starting to rebuild momentum for himself. Our main event might feature two guys who have seen victory as of late. They're going to be riding the high of momentum, but this match is the polar opposite. But something's got to give for one of these two men. Somebody's going to be walking out with that victory here tonight. And we talk about it all the time here in the WWE, but that's how you get championship opportunities. That's how you get more opportunities here in the WWE. That's getting your hand raised. Wins and losses matter around here. And Rollins is looking to get that win as he goes to the cover on Shinsuke Nakamura. But Nakamura gets the shoulder up. Rollins has definitely been aggressive throughout this contest. But Nakamura is hanging in there with the Messiah as well as we go back and forth there. And of course, Murphy at ringside, the disciple of Seth Rollins. You always got to keep his eye. Or keep your eye on that man at ringside. So far in this matchup, he hasn't gotten involved, which is a shock to many. Of course, he wasn't able to be there for Seth Rollins at SummerSlam because of that steel cage being implemented in that matchup. But he's back by his side tonight, and I'm sure the disciple, alongside his Messiah, have got plans moving towards the future. As Nakamura, they're going to crack the neck of Seth Rollins here. That's a maneuver that's simple yet effective as Nakamura climbs the ropes, hits that knee drop, quite the landing from the King of Strong style there. Nakamura is a former Intercontinental Champion, like we mentioned, former United States Champion, Tag Team Champion, and NXT Champion, as well as a Royal Rumble match winner. Nakamura has got quite the accolades throughout his WWE career, and it may have been some time since he's held gold, but any win can get you closer to another opportunity as Nakamura is looking to do that, but Rollins gets the shoulder up off that flurry of strikes from Nakamura there. Rollins may be dazed. Nakamura really had him with those couple of kicks. May not have put away Seth Rollins, but certainly going to knock the wind out of you. It's definitely a move that's going to play a part. The longer we get in this contest, kicking us off tonight on Monday Night Raw, Nakamura hangs Seth Rollins up right into the turnbuckle. Little snake eyes for the Messiah. Nakamura drops the knee again. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to the Extreme Rules paper that's going to be coming up on Sunday night, August the 7th, live from Seattle, Washington. Our next Universe Mode pay-per-view As wait a minute here, Rollins with the pedigree out of nowhere on Shinsuke Nakamura. Stopping Nakamura dead in his tracks. And now Rollins eyeing him up for that curb stomp. And he sends Nakamura's head deep, deep into the canvas. And you see Rollins using his Head to his advantage here, dragging Nakamura away from the ropes. And Seth Rollins gets the win to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. It's been a rocky last couple of months for the Monday Night Messiah. And even though Nakamura gave it his all tonight, Seth freaking Rollins is your... Whoa, whoa, wait a minute here. Wait a minute, we're back in the locker room. Cameras cutting backstage. Riddle, Randy Orton, they're going at it back there. Picking up where they left off last Monday Night on Raw. Remember, as we mentioned, it was revealed that Randy Orton was the one who put Riddle on the shelf over a month ago. Riddle returned to Raw last week with a vendetta in mind. He kicked Randy Orton's ass all over ringside. And seemingly, the issues, obviously, are not done just yet. The brawl has ensued back in the backstage interview area. We gotta get some help back there. As much as I think everybody, including myself, want to see these two men settle the score... This clearly isn't the place to do it, as Riddle now stopping himself from going through that table. We still don't even know the motive as to why Randy Orton officially turned his back and ended the relationship of RK-Bro. This is the second week in a row now that there's been no time for talking, and fists have been swinging as Riddle hits Orton in the gut with that damn hockey stick. 
We have got a brawl on our hands. Backstage here in the Pachanga Arena, San Diego, California is looking for a fight, and Randy Orton drops Riddle. Well, I believe Riddle may have been busted open here, and Riddle's gotta be careful. We don't know the condition of Riddle. We knew he was out with a concussion for over a month, but he returned last week. We don't know if he's 100%, but regardless here, he's the one taking the fight to Randy Orton, and now Orton's fighting Riddle, and we got ourselves a brawl right now. And Orton's eyeing up that table. Riddle's down right now. I mean, things are not looking good for the original bro. Meanwhile, Riddle's trying to come at Orton, but Orton's clearly got something in mind. As we mentioned, Jesus, Riddle goes flying over that table. We still don't know why Randy Orton turned his back on his former tag team partner. But all we know is he's been kicking his ass as of late. And I don't know who started this brawl. But right now, Randy Orton's got Riddle where he seemingly wants him. On the shoulders, watch that table. God damn it, Riddle through the table. We need to get some damn help back there. We're back inside the Pachanga Arena here in San Diego, California. And one of the number one contenders for the WWE Women's Championship, Shotzi is on her way to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Oakland, California, Shotzi. The woman before you right now has another chance to become the WWE Women's Champion coming up on August 7th at Extreme Rules as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defends the WWE Women's Championship against the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, as well as the woman she cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase on at SummerSlam, Shotzi. A very interesting situation between those three women as we've been talking about the last number of weeks. It was at SummerSlam where the champion at the time, Bianca Belair, defended her title against that woman, Shotzi. It was an incredible contest that saw Shotzi finally, for the third time, able to finally pick up the victory over Bianca Belair in their third meeting. Unfortunately for Shotzi, her first WWE Women's Championship reign only lasted a matter of seconds. Before she could even get the championship in her hands, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, reared her head and decided to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase. And the rest was history from there as Asuka, of course, defeated Shotzi and Phoenix and took home the WWE Women's Championship. But now both Shotzi, as well as Bianca Belair, have a chance to regain the gold as they step into the ring with Asuka in that triple threat contest. One fall to a finish coming up in Seattle at Extreme Rules. But Shotzi's set for a one-on-one -on -one contest tonight with the Queen of Spades. Shayna Baszler, big opportunity for this woman here tonight is not only is she going one-on-one -on -one with one of the number one contenders for the WWE Women's Championship, but a victory here for Shayna Baszler could absolutely put her in line for a future WWE Women's Championship opportunity. There's a little bit of a score to settle for the Queen of Spades as well. You remember before SummerSlam, when Shotzi earned that championship opportunity in the first place, she earned it at a four-way elimination contest on WWE Main Event. One of the women she defeated on that night was the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler as well. So Shayna looking to settle the score with Shotzi here tonight, as well as possibly put herself in line for a future WWE Women's Championship opportunity after the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. No matter who walks out of Seattle with the Women's Championship, whether that be Asuka, whether that be Shotzi, or whether that be Bianca Belair. Interesting matchup here tonight. The number one contender going to be looking to build some momentum for herself coming off SummerSlam. It's the first time Shotzi has been inside the squared circle since. And Shayna Baszler, as we mentioned, with an opportunity herself as we are underway with this women's division matchup right here tonight in San Diego. And already tonight, as you guys saw, Seth Rollins picking up the victory in his return bout against Shinsuke Nakamura. And then cameras cutting to the back rapidly as we had a brawl between Randy Orton and Riddle, the former RK Bro tag team partners. We hope Riddle was able to get some help, and I hope we at least hear from Randy Orton in the near future to finally get some answers as to why he put Riddle on the shelf over a month ago. All we've seen from those two men over the last two weeks is just fists flying. So hopefully we get some answers in the time being, but... As of right now, Shayna Baszler and Shotzi are our main focus inside the squared circle. Shayna Baszler takes Shotzi for a ride. 
And we've been talking about it. every time Shotzi's been inside the ring. We've been talking about it the last number of weeks as well. Every time Shotzi stepped foot in the squared circle over the last couple of months, she continued to get better. She continued to progress inside the ring. We've seen her pull out some big time victories for herself. We talked about that number one contenders four way contest that earned her the matchup. With Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. You remember before SummerSlam, she also picked up a victory against Io Shirai, and she as well for the final Raw before the SummerSlam pay per view. When she was still the number one contender and Asuka still held the Money in the Bank briefcase, actually defeated Asuka in one on one contest. So Shasi, we know, is no slouch inside of that ring. She's been able to get the job done and she's been getting better week by week. And she can now say she is a former one time WWE Women's Champion, regardless of whether she ever held the championship in her grasp or not. The record books show that for a time being there, she was the champion of the WWE. And she's looking to do so again on Sunday night, August the 7th, on our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Extreme Rules right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel, which will be a live premiere as always. Should be an incredible event coming up from Seattle as we got Shotzi working over Shayna Baszler here. And again, tonight for Shotzi is all about just trying to get back on track. She's really riding a wave of momentum heading into SummerSlam and rode that wave all the way to defeating Bianca Belair and dethroning her of the Women's Championship. It was Asuka who stopped Shotzi dead in her tracks with that Money in the Bank cash in. And Shotzi's just looking to get back the title that she never held in her hands. And she goes into the cover on Shayna Baszler here, but Baszler able to power out. And of course we have seen the Empress of Tomorrow as well as Bianca Belair in action the last number of weeks. We saw Asuka retain that championship on the Raw after SummerSlam against Casey Cat and Zaro. And her first championship defense as Shayna Baszler taking out Shotzi there. May have just put her away. Could be a big win for Shayna. Into the cover, but Shotzi gets the shoulder up. Shotzi hanging on, living to fight another day in this contest. Shayna goes for the kick. Shotzi, nice counter. Now Shayna with a counter, but Shayna reverses it. Or excuse me, Shotzi reverses it. Trying to make sure the momentum does not swing the other way in this contest. Nice elbow. Shotzi here. Look at this. Tilt to whirl. Head scissors. Shayna Baszler goes down. Shotzi's got some very innovative offense inside of the ring, including those sentons that she uses very effectively. And remember, it was the senton from the top rope, that coffin drop maneuver that won her the women's championship in that matchup against Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. And SummerSlam really showed it was a showcase of how much Shotzi has grown over the last number of months. Just remember the first two meetings between Shotzi and Bianca Belair several months ago? Saw Bianca Belair getting her hand raised. It was a big question as if Shotzi was going to be able to handle the moment at SummerSlam. The odds were clearly stacked against that woman, and the favorite was obviously the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair, but Shotzi really shocking the world on that night, proving that she was able to defeat Bianca Belair. And on that night, for the time being, become the women's champion of the WWE. Nice senton there. Shayna's down. Shotzi's headed to the top rope. Could be looking for a coffin drop, but instead, it looks for the splash there. And that could be enough to keep the Queen of Spades down, but Shayna Baszler once again gets the shoulder off the canvas. Shotzi had her a couple of times in this matchup, had her close. Shayna hangs on as Shotzi's heading back up to the top, and this time she could be looking, and there it is! Coffin drop from Shotzi! Into the cover, Shayna Baszler might have had the wind knocked out of her, and Shotzi picks up the victory here tonight on Raw. It may have been a rough couple of weeks for Shotzi, but she can at least say that she's riding the momentum wave all the way to Seattle, Washington on Saturday night, August the 7th at Extreme Rules. Hard-fought matchup between these two women. Shayna Baszler giving Shotzi a run for her money here tonight. But in the end, Shotzi's showing her guts, digging down deep, showing her will, and able to here defeat Shayna. She's the victor here tonight, but will she be the victor coming up at Extreme Rules? Will Shotzi be a two-time WWE Champion of the World? We're going to find that out on Saturday night, August the 7th, live on Pay-Per-View. More action tonight here on Monday Night Raw as the Street Profits return to action as they go two-on-two two against Lince Dorado and Grand Metalik Lucha House Party. 
And then from the women's division, Sonya Deville set to go one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. Two great matchups here from San Diego. And the results see the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford getting their hand raised tonight against Lucha House Party. And from the women's division, Liv Morgan continues her momentum and picks up the victory over Sonya Deville. Huge breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. The whole damn show, Rob Van Dam RVD returns to the WWE and is going to be set for action the next time we come your way on pay-per-view at Extreme Rules. There's some great breaking news here tonight on Monday Night Raw, but we are getting set for tag team action here as Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the Hurt Business, looking to continue the work of their almighty Bobby Lashley leader of the Hurt Business. He was back in action on the main event and got the victory. Will they do the same here tonight? As they are set for a tag team bout against Dominic Dijakovic and a tag team partner of his choosing. And from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Well, the rumblings in the locker room and what we can gather, this tag team matchup coming about after Bobby Lashley's tweets last week, back on the day of main event where he decided that he was going to warn the WWE locker room that the Hurt Business was getting quote-unquote back to business. They put the WWE locker room on notice saying they were out to hurt everybody. Dominic Dijakovic taking accustomed to that. Apparently accidentally met up with Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin in the locker room earlier today and decided to challenge those two men to a tag team matchup here tonight. Those two men seemingly figured Dominic Dijakovic wouldn't be able to find a tag team partner. But we're going to assume after this match has been signed that Dijakovic did and it looks like he's got himself a pretty massive tag team partner. It's going to be Dominic Dijakovic teaming up with Damian Priest. That's a hell of a tag team if I ever saw one. This is going to be a good one right here. And from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Now this is very interesting because remember the last time that Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic were inside the ring with each other? was back a couple of months ago, right here on Monday Night Raw, where they went one-on-one -on -one in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup that saw Damian Priest get the win on that night. And if you remember back, those two men absolutely tore the house down that night on Raw, clearly gaining a respect for each other after that battle. And it looks like these two men are on the same side with the common goal of shutting up the Hurt Business here tonight. Very interesting situation we have coming together right before our eyes. We're going to feast your eyes for the first time on Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest side by side. Going against Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. Continuing us on on Monday Night Raw and still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Theory going one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali in our main event plus several Extreme Rules matches signed and set to be announced right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. On top of the news that we just heard, the whole damn show, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam making his return to the WWE. And that's going to happen on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. Can't wait to see who RVD is going to be going up against on that night. Such great news coming out on Monday Night Raw tonight. What a night it has been with the in-ring action thus far. Seth Rollins defeating Shinsuke Nakamura in that opening contest. And then moments ago, Shotzi picking up the victory. Keeping the momentum going for herself on the way, on the way to Extreme Rules against Shayna Baszler. 
But again, now we move towards this. The Hurt Business versus Dijakovic and Damian Priest. It was this past week on main event where Bobby Lashley, in his first matchup since losing to Randy Orton at SummerSlam, returned to the ring as he took on Oni Lorcan. Lashley picked up the win on that night. And again, the tweets earlier in the day from Bobby Lashley stating that the Hurt Business was back to business, warning the WWE locker room that they were out to put the Hurt on everybody. Clearly a couple of superstars in the locker room taking a problem with that. Dijakovic being one of them. Again, seemingly met up with Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin accidentally backstage in the locker room area earlier today, challenging the two men to a tag team matchup. For what we hear, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin didn't believe that Dijakovic was going to be able to find a friend to team up with him here tonight, but seemingly Damian Priest has the same issue with not just Cedric and Shelton, but all of the Hurt business. Lashley an MVP as well. And that brings us to this tag team matchup. A little bit of a grudge between these two. I should say teams, but Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, obviously the more experienced team here. Members of the Hurt business for quite some time. They are former tag team champions with each other. And even though Priest and Dijakovic, as we mentioned, have been in the ring with each other in the past, they've been in the ring opposites from each other. Again, it was that one-on-one -on -one matchup on Monday Night Raw, that Money in the Bank qualifier. A couple of months ago, Damian Priest got the win on that night, but seemingly gaining respect for each other through battle, through combat. And a common enemy leads them on the same side of war here tonight. And Shelton Benjamin's in there with Damian Priest. Shelton Benjamin, a guy who's been looking to build some momentum for himself. All of the Herp is it took losses to Randy Orton in the lead up to SummerSlam. Randy Orton originally pinned Bobby Lashley as the guy who took out Riddle. Obviously, we found out last week that that was not the case. But regardless, all of the Hurt Business has been down and out as of late. Any wins are going to help get the back-in-business momentum going. And Shelton Benjamin, we know he has all the tools to get it done inside the ring, a veteran of the squared circle, as most of these men are. But Shelton Benjamin, a former Intercontinental Champion on multiple occasions, former United States Champion, Tag Team Champion, World traveled. Benjamin's a veteran of the game and has all the tools to get it done. This could be a huge win for the Hurt Business here tonight. As we mentioned, this may be the first tag team matchup for Dijakovic and Priest by their sides, but singly, they're two absolutely extraordinary competitors inside the ring. So a tag team victory for the Hurt Business here against guys of the caliber of Priest and Dijakovic. Well, that's huge for the Hurt Business. And of course, the Mysterios, our current WWE World Tag Team Champions. They will be defending the championships coming up to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Still yet to find out who that defense will be against. But regardless, everybody in the Tag Team Division is going to be looking to gain momentum, gain those victories, more victories, the more chances at an opportunity. And whether it's at Extreme Rules or beyond, everybody's going to be looking in the Tag Team Division to get a shot at Dominic and Rey Mysterio for those WWE World Tag Team Championships. And it could be one of these two teams here. Regardless of how long Dijakovic and Priest have been together, this may be night one, but victories are victories. They pick up a victory over Cedric and Shelton Benjamin here tonight. Could definitely propel them to a future World Tag Team Championship opportunity. Again, whether, whether it's against the Mysterios or not. Dijakovic taking out Shelton Benjamin, big boot there. Taking Benjamin off his feet. In Benjamin's days, Dijakovic's got to take advantage. Picking up Shelton here, dropping him on the knee, dropping him again, and sends him for a ride into the Hurt Business corner. And as we mentioned, the Hurt Business, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, they are former tag team champions as well. With kind of this new motive of the Hurt Business just to get back in the winning ways of things and kind of regroup as of late. A win tonight, and possibly a future tag team championship opportunity. I mean, there's no better way to bounce back for the Hurt Business than that. Bringing some gold to the family. That has been lost ever since Bobby Lashley lost that WWE championship several months ago to AJ Styles. Of course, AJ Styles no longer the WWE champion as he lost the title to Edge at SummerSlam. And of course, those two men are going to be a part of that five-man challenge coming up at Extreme Rules. Main event matchup, which will see Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, John Cena, and then of course AJ Styles and Edge. 
All five men vying for one common prize. The WWE Championship. It's going to be elimination style, so four men are going to have to fall live from Seattle before somebody's leaving that arena on that night with the richest prize in the business today. These guys are really going out of here these last number of minutes as Cedric Alexander is in there with Dominic Dijakovic, and check it out! Spanish fly, standing maneuver from Cedric Alexander. And that is definitely going to do a number on Dijakovic. He springs up, basically out of instinct there. Saw Shelton Benjamin coming, and now he hits that close onto the back of the head. And that could be a knockout blow there. It takes out the knee as well. Dijakovic's been in here for the last number of minutes. Going back and forth with Cedric and Shelton Benjamin. It'll be time for a tag out and to get the fresher competitor in here, but it looks like Dijakovic as of right now has got this match under control. And Benjamin may be worse for wares after Dijakovic threw him off his game while tagging inside the ring. Benjamin's dazed. Dominic Dijakovic will look to keep the momentum going. Oh, and a nice overhand axe hammer to the back, and he follows it up with a big boot. And a kind of shot like that is simple, but it's oh so effective. That's a knockout blow, potentially, if I ever saw one. Dijakovic unloaded on Benjamin here, but he may have got to the well too many times as Shelton Benjamin using his strength over Dijakovic, who is no small man. Cedric Alexander, former cruiserweight champion of the WWE, and again, former tag team champion back in here. To work on the already beaten down Dijakovic. And you take out the legs of somebody like Dijakovic. You're going to hinder the strength, but also the speed and agility. Something that Dijakovic, one of his specialties is springboard and flying around this ring. Very agile for the big man. As he springs up there, look at that, takes Cedric off his feet. And Dijakovic, smart for him after getting beaten down the last few minutes, tagging in. Damian Priest, who misses for the clothesline there. Cedric Alexander going to cut him off and takes him down. Priest springs up. Running at Cedric Alexander again. Alexander sidesteps it and takes Priest down with the shot. And the inexperience as a tag team of Priest and Dijakovic kind of on display right now as the Hurt Business has got these men where they want them. Nice elbow by Priest. Goes for the clothesline. Benjamin counters. And that's a jawbreaker. But Priest able to counter again back and forth. He's trying to stay in this contest, but the Hurt Business has been all over these men the last few minutes. This shot by Shelton sends Dam Damian Priest into the corner. This is the opposite corner of where Damian Priest wants to be, tangled up with the Hurt Business right now. Now we're going to see a little tag team offense from the former tag team champions. Cedric and Shelton. Damian Priest, though, smart for him to fight his way out of the corner. Unfortunately, had his back turn at Cedric Alexander. Lumbar check. And that baby all she wrote, but luckily Dominic Dijakovic getting in there at the last second, able to break things up. I don't know if Damian Priest is going to be able to battle back out of that maneuver. You saw it caught him off guard. He was trying to battle his way out of the Hurt Business corner. Cedric Alexander took advantage of the back being turned, grabbed the hold, and hit with that lumbar check. And Mr. Feast Your Eyes himself, Dijakovic, saving the day for his tag team partner here. Now Damian Priest trying to battle back. Hits that Falcon Arrow. That's two in a row there. Starting to teeter, totter the momentum back into his corner. And he's got to get out of that Hurt Business corner that he's fighting in right now. Springboard moonsault. Damian Priest super impressive there. And that's where Priest and Dijakovic are very much alike. Two big men who know how to fly around the ring. Nice elbow drop from Damian Priest. And Cedric's down. Trying to get to his feet, he's on wobbly legs. Priest has got him though. Hit the lights! And Cedric Alexander may be staring up at the lights here at the Pachanga Arena. And Priest wants to go for the cover, but Shelton Benjamin, he's in her business corner again we mentioned. And that's just gonna throw off the game plan of Damian Priest. And he can mouth off to Sh Shelton Benjamin all he wants, but that just gave Cedric Alexander the time to recoup from that hit the lights, which could have been the maneuver that won Priest and Dijakovic this contest. And unfortunately for him, Cedric Alexander taking the momentum back. Tried to go for the pinfall there. Priest going for the tackle. Shelton, there should be Cedric Alexander counters, taking him off his feet. Now Cedric takes him over. 
Man, what a tag team matchup this has been. An absolutely outstanding showing so far for the most part from Priest and Dijakovic in their first tag team outing. Her business has definitely been the aggressors the majority of this contest. Momentum has certainly been in the corner of Shelton and Cedric. Gonna pick up the win here are those men. But Priest gets the shoulder up again. And Priest trying to call, crawl to the corner, excuse me, but Shelton Benjamin cutting him off halfway. And now the beatdown. This is where the hurt business is most dangerous. Where they snap and they start going into that beatdown offense. And Priest is dazed and Shelton Benjamin laying him out with the pay dirt. Into the cover. Dijakovic once again saving the day for his tag team partner there. Is Damian Priest taking the best offense from Cedric and Shelton? There's a counter. Shelton Benjamin gets taken down with that tackle. And it's now or never for Damian Priest to try to take momentum back for his team. Tagging in Diamond and Dijakovic here. Damian Priest getting some much needed rest. Dijakovic's got something in mind. Benjamin's up in that reverse. Fireman's carry. Feast your eyes. And that baby all she wrote for the Hurt Business here tonight. Oh, but just at the last second, Cedric Alexander throwing the game plan way off course. But Dijakovic, look at that, takes out Cedric Alexander, now looking to keep the momentum going. Back into the cover on Shelton Benjamin. Benjamin gets the shoulder up. This match is starting to hit another level right now. I don't think anybody was expecting this kind of showcase for a brand new tag team. But Dijakovic's feeling it at the moment. Benjamin's down, he's unloading, springboard, cross body to the back. Into the cover once again. Shelton Benjamin could be done for it now, but Benjamin again gets the shoulder up. And if Cedric Alexander didn't get in to save Shelton Benjamin from that feast your eyes, it may have been all she wrote, but it looks like Dijakovic's got number two ready and loaded in the tank. And into the cover he goes. And the three count as Cedric Alexander tried to break it up but got there not in time. And Dominic Dijakovic steals the win from the Hurt Business here tonight. That was an extraordinary tag team matchup. I think surprising a lot of the audience here. The Hurt Business got to be thrown off their game. I don't think they were expecting the flurry from Damian Priest. Here. And Dominic Dijakovic here tonight. That new tag team certainly impressing. I think now they got the victory. I don't think this will be the last time we see those two men on the same side of the ring. Our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Extreme Rules, is already shaping up to be one hell of an event. And just signed for that night. Balls count anywhere matchup. Riddle. Randy Orton, the former tag team partners are set to go one on one. This is gonna be big at Extreme Rules. And speaking of two men who got a score to settle with one another, Drew McIntyre and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, one on one, and there's gonna be no holds barred. Those two men gonna collide in a big way coming up at Extreme Rules. And the Intercontinental Championship gonna be up for grabs as the Prince Finn Balor goes one on one with the champion, the Bruiserweight. Pete Dunn. Want to talk about a wrestling clinic waiting to happen? Look no further than those two men. And of course, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line in the Triple Threat Contest as Asuka set to defend against the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, as well as Shotzi. Those three women got a lot of writing on that contest. Who is going to leave with the gold? And speaking of gold, the WWE Championship is on the line in the five-man elimination challenge. Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, John Cena, AJ Styles, and the rated R superstar, Edge. Four men will fall, and who will be the last man standing? And who is going to leave Seattle with the WWE Championship? Coming up on August the 7th at Extreme Rules. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. 
And as Ali makes his way to the ring tonight, we want to tell you guys that coming up on our next episode of Universe Mode on WWE Main Event, just signed the phenomenal AJ Styles set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Both men, as you saw, are going to be competing at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. It's all about building momentum for those two combatants. But we are set for our main event contest here tonight, live from the Pachanga Arena in San Diego, California. It's been dubbed the road to extreme rules because it's all about momentum for these two combatants here tonight. Two men that will compete for the WWE Championship live on pay-per-view, Mustafa Ali and the self-proclaimed future of the WWE all day, Austin Theory. Both men have certainly been successful as of late. Victories left and right. Austin Theory with a win over Randy Orton last week, bouncing back after some losses to John Cena. Will it be another victory for that man against Mustafa Ali? Or will Ali's momentum continue here tonight? And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory may have defeated Randy Orton last week on Monday Night Raw, but that wasn't the last time we saw him in the ring. As you remember, this past week on WWE Main Event, John Cena picked up that victory against the colossal Omos in that first time ever encounter. What an encounter it was. But after the bell, John Cena celebrating his victory when Austin Theory hit the ring and laid out the franchise player. Of course, Austin Theory, back-to-back -back nights at SummerSlam and then on Raw in that tag team matchup the night after, taking losses to the franchise. John Cena certainly upset about that. Of course, Austin Theory... Got himself a win last week over Randy Orton, but that doesn't settle the score with John Cena just yet. I'm sure there's more blood on the hands of both of those men. That's certainly going to be settled. Well, that's not extreme rules or not. But regardless, it's Austin Theory and it's Mustafa Ali, and these two men are your target focus here in your main event contest. We talked about it earlier tonight, but Mustafa Ali has been nothing short of successful week after week especially the last time we saw him at SummerSlam. Picking up that victory over Seth Rollins inside the steel cage. Mustafa Ali certainly with more momentum coming into this matchup than Austin Theory. As Austin Theory has been in control these last couple of seconds since the opening bell, but Mustafa Ali has got a lot in the tank and we know that for sure. Mustafa Ali for the last couple of months has been all about righting the wrongs of the last few years of his career and really building some momentum for himself in the WWE and he's certainly been doing that month after month, week after week and it's all led himself to getting that WWE Championship matchup as one of the four challengers at Extreme Rules. You know, what a win it could be if Mustafa Ali walks out of Seattle for the first time as the WWE Champion. Or hell, Austin Theory, that man will never shut up if he becomes the new WWE Champion. Ali going into the cover here on Theory. So Theory, in his mind, can't afford another loss right now. His losses to John Cena obviously ticked off the young man. Because once again, he did lay out John Cena the last time we saw him on WWE Main Event. And I'm sure Cena in the next couple of weeks is going to be looking to even the odds with all day Austin Theory. But regardless, Theory's mind can't be focused on John Cena right now, Holiday. Can't even be focused on the WWE Championship match at Extreme Rules. Same for Mustafa Ali. Two major targets in front of these men. Two themselves, future parts of the WWE. Not just Austin Theory, but Ali as well. Theory may be in control right now, but Ali, we know how much heart and how much soul that man's got. And he's going to keep fighting until he certainly just can't no more. Brawl here on the outside, and Theory throwing Ali into the barricade. Drop kick, Ali. I think he brushed it off a little bit. Now Ali trying to take the momentum back. Now this isn't the first time we've seen these two men go at each other in recent history on Rawls. A couple of months ago, Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory went one-on-one -on, -one on Monday Night Raw. And remember on that night, Mustafa Ali did pick up the victory over Austin Theory. So in their careers, Ali does own a victory over that young man right there. Just one of the many victories over the last number of months from Mustafa Ali. That again has all led him to being one of the challengers to the WWE Championship at Extreme Rules. And as for Austin Theory, luck is certainly on his side. I mean, two losses to John Cena back-to-back -back nights would certainly do damage to anybody's career. But I think in Austin Theory's case, 
Getting a WWE Championship matchup at Extreme Rules definitely stemming from the fact that he was on quite the winning streak prior to SummerSlam. And of course, whether it was due to tactics or not, picking up that victory over Randy Orton last week. And of course, Riddle was the one who kind of took Randy Orton's eye off the ball. But nonetheless, Theory got his hand raised in the end, so that's a victory whether we like it or not. Theory with the kick. Look at this. Sending Mustafa Ali off. Ali with the counter. Nice kick to Theory. Nice counter. Keeping the momentum going. Got to send him over the top rope here. Theory may be dazed. No Theory with a shot. Ali counter. Sending him off the top. Mustafa Ali rolling right now. Now he's headed to the top rope. Theory's a little dazed on the outside. Missile drop kick from Mustafa Ali. And follows it up with a senton. Ali looking good here in this main event matchup on Raw. Keeping the brawl going on the outside of the ring. The road to extreme rules. Running right through San Diego, California tonight. Man, I can't wait to get to the pay-per-view on Sunday night, August the 7th. Which once again is going to be a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Multiple matches already signed, more to come. Including the return of Rob Van Dam. Making his return to the WWE on that night is Austin Theory shooting star press. And that may be all she wrote. And wait a minute. I think I hear the bells. John Cena is in the house. And he's got a score to settle with Austin Theory. Well, at least his music's playing. Cena might just be playing mind games with Austin Theory. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. Cena's in the ring. Cena with a chair. Cena just cracked Austin Theory with a chair. The referee saw it at the last second, but the referee's discretion goes. Looks like he's letting this one slide. Mustafa Ali into the cover, and Ali just got the win over Austin Theory. I don't know if that's certainly the most legal way to pick up a victory. Obviously not, but hell, clearly the referee knows who he's dealing with. He knows the history between Austin Theory and John Cena. I think he just allowed Cena to even the odds a little bit. And Mustafa Ali took advantage of the situation and got himself a victory over all day Austin Theory here tonight. Look at that Cena from behind, cracking Austin Theory with that chair. A measure of payback for laying himself out on main event last week. And Mustafa Ali picking up the big time victory in the main event here tonight. Here is your winner, Mustafa Ali. Whether it was planned or not, John Cena and Mustafa Ali find themselves on the same side of history tonight. But that will not be the case coming up at Extreme Rules. Mustafa Ali may be the victor. John Cena may have got some payback. But we still got a road to go before we get to August 7th. Who is going to leave with the WWE Championship? Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.